Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know a lot, of, a bunch of you have been asking for another video on the Car Cal Easy Cal 1.0 ADOS stand. It's a cold one out here today. We went from like 75 degrees to like, I don't know, like 40 degrees. But Stevie's going to be here to explain this to you. Uh, we are recounting a 22 Toyota Camry right here. So this is the basic Easy Cal 1.0. This is it folded up and it's full. How it comes out the truck. You can see good? Yeah, I guess it's oh. fine. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, come in. I do it on the So this is the basic fold up. Pull the pin. Here it click. So that's it for there. Come back here. This is the front jig for the front of the vehicle that lines up. Pull that down. And this is nicely designed. So it stores in the stand, locks in, you know, no funny stuff, no no loose. It feels good so far. Now what you want to do... You got to speak up a little bit. So what you want to do here, this one you just pull down, get this ready. So that locks in, you flip this up, turn your laser on. So you make sure, you make sure that your laser is hitting here on the reflector and this notch. And then also when you come here, you want it to notch there, but also notch here. So that's square with the, the front. So let's go ahead, set this up. Just like any other laser, get it to the center of the vehicle, to the emblem, to the grill, anything like that. Also make sure this is touching the bumper on both sides. I mean, of course, if you have a messed up vehicle, the bumper's messed up, we don't proceed with the calibration anyway. So this is straight, and then we'll come here. Here are the targets, and they were nice enough to put the manufacturer's distance. So today we have, what is this, a 20 Camry? 22 Camry. 22 Camry, so 17 and up. I already destroyed it, my fault. I know it's 1077. Off the bumper, distance from bumper, 1077. So come over here. Um, let me show them the measurements on the side. So, yeah, to pull this up, you pull the knob. Oh, okay. And then you slide up. And then these automatically come out of its nice holder. Get that. So when you go down, locks it. Fold it up, ready to go. But check out the measurements on the side. I like this. They already did pre-measurements. Pre-measurements for, I guess, the most basic. So you have Nissan, uh, Toyota, 1400 is what? My Hyundai Kia. The Kia, yeah. 1500s, Hondas. Um, yeah, Hondas. 1092. I'm pretty sure is Audi Volkswagen. No. No? no? Yeah. Maybe with I mean, his stand. Yeah. yeah. Huh? I'm, Maybe with this stand. These are the pre-mates. Yeah. And they come on this side. This is just a basic, regular breakdown. Oh, so back to the board. So we need Toyota, 1350 on the height, and 1077 from the bumper. So let's get that set up. So all you do is swing these up, pull your pins, nice and light, everything is. I think total. You can see it's one, one finger. Look, one finger. One finger. This is all like CNC billet, billet material. Uh, you could add these weights on these one pound weight or temp. What are these? Five pounds. Five each pounds track? each. Five yeah. pounds each. So this just to to get the stand just to. Uh, if you're using like a Subaru, a full size target. Um, we use Subaru outside with the weights, and it worked out perfectly. Also, these I never really used these yet, but these are extenders. You know, and then you could do adjustments here for leveling everything like that. This one has in the front, each corner. So I mean, I, I would say without the weights, probably this alone, you know, would hold it. I would figure. All right, so we'll set up here. And all the measure, the... Yep. So, so all, all your target measurements are nice, nicey nice on the sides. This is like real, Quality, quality material. It's it made, was made in, to make our lives easier. Yeah, this is made for speed. It's made in America. 
It's always a bonus. When do you get anything made in America? Well, the parts are available. So if something breaks on the stand, which is a warranty on the stand, we, we could get the parts to you within like a day or two. I'm filming you. So we have these nice extenders they put for uh, anything more than 800. This goes up to 1400. So like um, a Honda's, you know, when you're going, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Senna. You have to shoot three times. And then this, the, the sideboards, I think they come out, if I'm not mistaken, 1200 from Senna. So this is the extender, but look how nice. This piece just goes, a lot of things are magnetic. So we have all these magnets, these are for the targets, but everything else is magnetic also. So you see this has a nice channel. Come back here, Mike, look at this. So this has a nice channel. You see how nice it is? And then a lock and screw. So let me put this here. You just align this with this channel and it's magnetic, it feels like. Yep. And then it just sticks on. And then this is the locking screw for it. So that's it together. And that's not even tight. That's just, you know, magnetically holding it. All right, so let's show them the rest of the recal. I mean, yes. that's not really important. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? <laughs> Okay, so now we got to get 1077 distance. So all, all the, the way this is, the way he, they have this design, everything is measured, you know, to the board. So it's precise to the car. Just got to get this going. So it's not going to pick up because it's an emblem. Now you have to make sure to show them that, that it's hitting the plate to pick it up. See that little red dial? Let me yeah. see if I can zoom in. See that little red dial right there? You got to make sure that's hitting the plate to get the measurement on. So we know we're out. We got to be 1077. So let's move this closer. Well, what I find so far, you just put your foot, you tilt it back, and you give it a little push. Here about 1078, 1077, come in the front. So this is the alignment process. You have two notches here. You have one here and one here. So what you want the laser to come here and then hit in this one, and then it's squared up with the vehicle. So just make sure you can see that's in there. You see this one needs to come over just a little. Maybe too much. Now we're in it, now we're in it. Come back here, 1077. So that's their distance from the bumper and we're set up, ready to recalibrate. Show them how you put the target on. So they're just metal with their slots here and then everything's magnetic so it does stick. You know, this is the center line. They tell you, so you're gonna be shooting center 550 left, 550 right. So just the arrows, these just slide on. And then you get them there. He has all his measurements there so you can make sure everything's square. And, then and that's you it. Proceed from there. That's it. You're all set up right now. I that's mean, it. realistically, you if you know, not explaining, you could set this up in minutes. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do a setup video with no talking. So we're gonna give you a real deal setup time right now. This is unedited. Steve's gonna set up the stand. Oh, you had that post up. Well, you pulled that up. The one that goes up and down. What's up? Ready to shoot. Put your target. Now it's ready to go. You just got to put your target on, and that's it. So. 
basically about a minute to set this up. So less than 60. Less than 60 seconds. 1077 on the button, distance to the bumper. I mean, there you have it. So this is why this ADOS stand, I would say is the best on the market because time is money, you need the speed. All right, you want speed? Speed and it's light. What I didn't like was the heaviness before. Me lugging that three, four times a day, you know, as the days go on, more and more cars need calibrations. We need this to be mobile. You know, I don't want to die while I'm working, hurt my back any more than what it is, you know, so. What kind of tablets can you use with it? I mean, everything. I seen Launch, Altel. I wouldn't, yeah, the G-Scan definitely will work with it. I mean, everything's gonna work with it. But would they recommend either Launch or? Um, yeah, or, me? Or either Launch, because uh, Launch is, if yeah. you're going for speed, you want to go with a launch because yeah. it scans just the camera. It doesn't scan the entire car. Like right, you could just pre-scan. You yeah, pre-scan what, what you're do calibrating. The, do the calibration and do a post-scan, as opposed to, you know, if you have an Altel, especially if you have like a 908 or 906, that they're a lot slower. So and then they go through the whole system. If the HVAC system is not turned off, it'll get stuck on that for Nissan. a minute. So it winds up becoming more time-consuming. So if you could do a one-minute setup and do a two-minute calibration, I mean, you're winning in under three minutes. And that's that's what we need because as time goes on, we're going to just have more and more calibrations to do. I mean, every car we do, for the most part, besides being a piece of tempered or a laminated door glass, has a camera. Times are changing, baby. Got to catch up. Could have been talking into the camera, but I wasn't. So that's it. There you have it. You have any questions, comment down below. Big Lonnie, what's up? Say what's up. Uh oh, he's exposed. That's it. He's exposed. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you need any help, you know, hit me up. See you soon. Peace out.